Good afternoon, folks. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today. We're gonna go ahead and do a real comparison between the Tab 400 and the Little Guy Max. For more information on either of these campers or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy. But let's get on to these two here. So as I mentioned, these are both 2018. We've got the Little Guy Max, and we've got the Tab 400. And basically, let's talk about length. When you're talking about the Little Guy Max here, it's gonna be 21 feet. Now, both of these are, both of these are seven feet wide. Little Guy Max, because of the air conditioner, just gonna be a little over nine feet in height, whereas the Tab 400 is gonna be about eight and a half feet to the top. Now the Tab 400 length is 18 feet. And again, it is, it is seven feet wide. Now the weight on the two, when you're looking at the Tab 400, you're just under 2,700 pounds on the Tab, four, on the tab 400 by New Camp. The little guy, little guy Max, your weight, your, and I'm talking just the dry weight, is just under 3,200 pounds. Tongue weights are gonna be comparable. Your tongue weight on the little guy Max, you're gonna be looking at about 440 pounds. Now, when I talk tongue weight, I'm talking about when you have propane and the battery on this one. So about 440 pounds on the tongue weight here. On the tab 400, once you have put the spare tire up here and fill the propane bottle, you're gonna be at right about 460 pounds. Now one thing you can do to offset the tongue weight on the little guy Max, as you can see when I walk around the back here, you do have a hitch receiver back here that you could put a mother-in-law seat or something into this to offset the weight. You could put up to 150 pounds on here. Now when you're looking at the difference between the two, you can see how little guy Max, now they do have um, an, a Rough Rider edition, which will give you an additional three inches, three and a half inches of clearance, but you see they are lower to the ground, whereas with the Tab 400, you can see how it slants up in the back to give you more clearance. That kind of gives you that idea. Now, although the, the little guy Max does have this rear view camera on it already, that can be installed on the back of the Tab 400. You also notice that on that Tab 400, they have the two 100 watt solar panels, the, they're the flat ones. Now that'll have an inverter on the interior, whereas on the Little Guy Max, it does come with, you have an option for a 100 watt solar panel, but it does not have the inverter inside, but that could be installed. So now let's talk about some of the other specifications we're talking about inside. We're starting the Little Guy Max, we're gonna go back and forth here. So for the bed in the Little Guy Max, this is gonna be a queen bed an actual residential style queen. It's gonna be 80 inches in length and then 60 inches in width. So that is what you have in the Little Guy Max. Now let's go take a look at the Tab 400. Okay, so in the Tab 400, your measurements on the bed is gonna be 79 inches in length and 57 inches in width. Again, I mean, you know, it's good size. Now, the one thing they do different in here is they use the Froley system underneath the mattress, which you have to lay on this bed to really appreciate how that works. So that's that. Now let's talk about the dinette booths. So the dinette booth here in, in your Tab 400 now you will, it is 74 inches across, folks, when you include, you can see when I move this cushion here, you can see you have a little bit of space up underneath here. 
okay? So that'll give you a few extra inches, but if you're not including that, it's gonna be 69 inches in length, okay? But now your width, the width on this, on the short end on this side is gonna be 30 inches wide, and on, on this side, you're gonna be um, a little much, much wider as you can see. So it kind of angles. I mean, plenty of room for somebody to sleep there. So this is in the Tab 400. Let's go over and take a look at the dinette booth in the Little Guy Max. Okay, folks, so the dinette booth in, in the Tab 400 is gonna be 76 inches long and 32 inches in width. Now the other thing you have in this particular one, I mean, both are gonna have your electrical outlets, but this one's gonna have a removable table. You can take that outside, um, maybe a little bit wider table, but they also have the TV that is back underneath the, uh, the cabinet right there. So that's what you have for your dinette booth in the Little Guy Max. Now let's talk about the showers. So in your shower here, it's gonna be about six foot, uh, three inches in height, but then you're 46 inches in the width part here. So this is the shower, so it's, you know, more rectangle. And of course, it has the power vent fan here. You're gonna have a vent in the, in the tab 400, but let's go over to the tab 400 and compare these two. So in the tab 400, this bathroom, six foot one inch to the ceiling. And then it's kind of a little bit different in, in the size because you can see the toilet is sit back in the back, but it's, a, it's like 45 inches across here, uh, 21 or 24, depending on where you're measuring from here as far as the width. And of course it can be wider as you're getting taller due to the fact that uh, obviously things uh, set back into that area. Now in this particular one, of course, you do have the, the nice window there and you have this vent fan in the bathroom. Of course, their power vent fan in the, tab, in the Tab 400 is out here in the living area. So you actually have two different fans. So this is the Tab 400 bathroom. Okay, so let's talk about refrigeration, the refrigerator. And the refrigerator in the Tab 400, this is a 2.7 cubic foot refrigerator. Now this is both 110 and 12 volt, and that is what is in the Tab 400. Now let's go on over and take a look and see what we have in the Little Guy Max. Okay folks, so in the Little Guy Max, you're gonna have a Dometic refrigerator this is a three-way refrigerator, meaning you could run it on 110, you could run it on battery, you could run it on propane. Now this is a four cubic foot refrigerator, refrigerator freezer. So as you can see the space that you have in this particular one, in the refrigerator, and then of course you also have freezer space. So this is the little guy Max. Now, as far as storage space on the inside, as you can see in the kitchen, you're gonna have three drawers here, and you're gonna have storage down below the kitchen counter, and here's your kitchen counter space. This one does have a microwave, two burner cooktop. This is more of a rectangle um, sink, nice good size sink and a pull out sprayer. Then you also have a pantry, here on this side. Now keep in mind, you know, this is three feet longer. Obviously you're gonna have more storage in here. And then of course you have your wardrobe on the other side, which is next to your refrigerator here. And of course has a, a couple of adjustable shelves in there. Now below your bed, you also have um, a storage drawer there. And then of course up in the front, you're gonna have storage under this dinette booth that you can get to, as well as you'll have a little bit on the other side. And then of course you have your storage up above, just like you have in the Tab 400, you have very similar storage up here as well. So now let's go compare this to the Tab 400. 
Okay, so for storage in your Tab 400, as you can see, you're gonna have under your sink here, you've got a drawer, and then storage below that, and you're gonna have storage down below the refrigerator. However, you can see the counter space looks a little bit bigger counter space on he in here. And of course, that does have also an extension on, on there to give you a little bit even more ex um, counter space. Two burner cooktop, very similar, and then of course your sink. It's a nice good size sink and adjustable um, sprayer there. Now as far as for your, um, for your pantry and, and storage, you're going to have this area here. Just let me get this cushion out of here, storing it somewhere, but you can see that of course you have a light in here. You can use these shelves back here as your pantry. And then of course you can also be hanging some clothes inside of this um, area here. So that is the storage here in your tab 400. So now let's talk about your air conditioning system. So in your tab 400, your AC system is gonna be down below here and then of course it has a blower, you, it, that's where the uh, warm air return is. You have AAC that blows from this duct here, the duct there, and then of course you have one back in the bed area that'll blow across the bed. So that is all your air conditioning and that has uh, an electric heat pump in it as well. Now your furnace and your water heater is gonna be all controlled through your Aldi system, which will be right here. So a little bit different uh, systems. Well, let's go take a look and see what we have in the Little Guy Max. Okay, so in the Little Guy Max, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have an air conditioning system up on the top of your roof. Now, it's gonna be a little noisier than the one you have in the Tab 400. However, from a beneficial standpoint is that you have a warm air return at a high level, which warm air obviously goes up. Now for your furnace, you're gonna have, you're gonna have your furnace, which is gonna be propane style, and that's gonna be blowing through the, across the floor here. So as you can see from there, back here by the bed, blows from there, as well as here. And that would be adequate as far as that is concerned. Your water heater is gonna be an Atwood water heater. It's your standard, typical RV uh, water heater, six gallon, and it's both propane gas and it's also electric. Now the difference with that, that'll give you about a little over six gallons of hot water on electric. On propane gives you just under 12 gallons of hot water per hour on propane, but with both of them used uh, together, it gives you almost 18 gallons of hot water uh, an hour. So those are your, so you have your, your heat, you have your furnace, and your air conditioner for the Little Guy Max. So again, in the Little Guy Max, you've got the ceiling air conditioner, which adds to the height of the camper. Remember, this one was a little over nine feet tall. And then, of course, you have the propane um, furnace, and then you have your electric and propane water heater. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about entertainment systems. So we're in the Little Guy Max right now. So what you're gonna have in the Little Guy Max is behind here, underneath your cabinet there, this is gonna be a TV that pops up. So you've got a TV for the front. You're also gonna have a TV back here in the bedroom area that swivels along with a sound bar. So that pulls out the swivels. And then you have up in the front, this is gonna be your AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player. Now, the unique thing about what they do with this, now of course that is AM, FM, CD, DVD, but it's Bluetooth. Of course you have an AV in, you have a headphone jack. But now one thing unique about what they do on the Little Guy Max is you can take one of, one of either of those TVs and bring them out here to outside. Notice how you have stereo speakers out here. But the bigger point is take a look at what they're using for your uh, cable connection here. It's a gold plug. They also have the HDMI connection port here. So you can actually watch movies on the outside. So this is the Little Guy Max. Let's go take a look at the Tab 400. Okay folks, for the Tab 400 what you have is you have this AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player. 
It's also Bluetooth capable, and you have multiple speakers on the inside. So you have a speaker back here for the bedroom area. You're gonna have a speaker up there in the kitchen, as well as you're gonna have two speakers up in the front here. They're up out of the way so they don't blare right in your ears. You have one here to the, to the left, and you have one on the door side over here as well. So you can actually choose which uh, speakers the music is playing for. So if you don't wanna hear it on something, as you can see, you have the ABC speaker controls. That here is in the Tab 400. Now for your TV, you have a TV source right here for the bed. That is a 12 volt uh, TV. And then of course you can pull that out and uh, swivel it as well. So if you want to look at it from sitting up in the dinette, you can. And we talked about the inverter earlier, folks. This is where they put the inverter control for here and you have a 110 outlet. So in the evening, if you would need to, you know, run something on 110 and, you know, a CPAP or something, you're able to do that. Remember this had the 200 watt solar panel, whereas the little guy Max has just the solar panel, did not have the inverter. So hopefully that helps. Okay, so for windows, what do we have? So here in the tab 400, what you're gonna have is in the bathroom, you're gonna have a little port window. And of course it does have the blackout shade. So you have that. You also have uh, port windows on either side of the dinette with blackout shades. And of course that also gives you additional storage, if you will, right here behind there. And of course you have another one on this side. Then for your normal th windows, for the, you have the one in the front, you have one on the side, as well as the one over your bed, we might call that the star glazing window. But you have the shades where if you pull down from the top, you're gonna get the screen. If you pull up from the bottom, you get the blackout shade. Now for your door, you have your window in the door, and then of course it has the blackout shade, and then of course you're gonna notice that it also has the screen door, so if you wanted to open the door, you've got a screen, in case it's nicer weather. So that is what we have for the windows and window shades. Now let me show you on the outside one other thing here, and it's probably pretty easier to better to see. One, one bigger difference is when you look at the window, Now I have, I have the uh, blackout shade up on both, but this is the window on the Tab 400. When you look at the windows in the Little Guy Max, you're gonna notice that it is a little bit darker. So it'll give you a little bit more privacy. Let me step back and see if you can see the difference. You can kind of see the, the difference between those two. So let's take a look on the inside of the Little Guy Max. Now, so they're both gonna have this screen door here as you can see. But the difference is that they are gonna have, they have the door, so if you close the door, you do have a window in the door that has the blackout or the screen if you wish to pull down. So you don't have to have the door open to have some air flowing through. So now on their windows, what you're gonna notice is that you have the, the window on either side of the dinette in the front as well. You're gonna have your window over your kitchen there and then of course you have one in the back nice big window that's your star glazing win gazing window but then you also have another one on the side so you know a few more windows and again once again folks we're in a camper that is three feet longer so hopefully that helps you there let's get on to the next thing okay folks let's talk about outside storage so in the Little Guy Max, as you see, we have a pass-through storage all the way across. And of course, it's gonna have a lighting in there. But this is your storage on the Little Guy Max. Now, it does also have the place for you to put uh, your sewer hose, as will the uh, Tab 400. Now, your Tab 400, this is a little misleading, folks, but there's a little box right there. That's gonna go back another uh, about 20, 20 some inches it's only accessible from this side and you can get to it from the inside. What I wanna do is show you, I'm gonna walk on the inside and show you the accessibility to give you a better idea of how big the storage is on the Tab 400. So you can see there's, the, there's how big the box is. Now of course you have, this is where you have your inverter 
and the battery is stored under here. And of course that gray tube, that is where your sewer hose is gonna be um, stored and it has access on, on the uh, off door side. So those are the storage, outside storage on the Tab 400 versus the Little Guy Max. Okay, so let's talk about some outside features between the two. There's pluses and minuses with everything. So on your Little Guy Max, you're gonna have an outside shower. It's gonna be right here. And of course your sewer dump is right over here. So it's convenient to help you for cleaning up. The other thing on the outside is your spare tire is gonna be up underneath here, as you can see. It's underneath in the back. I'm gonna show you where the spare tire goes on the Tab 400 later. Of course, we talked about your storage, talked about the sewer hose access there. You're gonna have your 110. Now, because you have the RV refrigerator, you have the, the vents on the outside here. You're gonna have your cable hookup, your city water hookup, here, your uh, fresh water fill, if you're choosing to do so. And then, of course, this is where your Atwood water heater is. Notice it also has a light on this side, nice bright light, so that if you're hooking up at night, and I know nobody would ever do that, um, you would be able to actually see. And of course, now it's gonna come with four stabilizer jacks, one on every corner. Up on the front here, you're gonna see you're gonna have what they call a smart jack. It's an electric jack. Go ahead and look that up. It's an LCI smart jack by Lippard. Kind of a unique little thing. And then of course you can see the what they call jacket and that is for you to carry your bikes up here and they're up out of the way. Now in this front, um, in the front bin here, this is where your, your battery and your propane will be stored. And then of course it also has a battery disconnect. The benefit there folks, that you're able to turn off the battery so you don't leave anything on there. So now let's go on to your Tab 400. So on the Tab 400, up in the front here, what you're gonna have, this is where your propane tank is gonna be. Now you notice there is no battery in there because the battery is towards the back. Now underneath this, and by the way, this does not have room to put a second propane tank. No room on that. Now this is where your spare tire would be located, would be up underneath here. You can see the crank handle right there on the side. Now the battery on this particular one is gonna be back in the storage bay, and you're gonna notice in here you also do have a battery disconnect. Much larger battery, folks. I'm gonna give you a little bit more. This does have the four stabilizer jacks, one on either corner. And then on your off-door side, let me show you what we have for features and the benefits for you on the tab 400. So you see the AC, this is where it's gonna be blowing out the, the air. This is where your uh, outside sewer connection is. Now, one thing this one has that is not on the Little Guy Max is the black tank flush. Although that can be, uh, so that's a very simple issue to solve. Of course, your outside shower, and again, very lo located right here where you're gonna be emptying a sewer. Of course, you have your cable hookup, water tank fill, electric, and then of course, back here is where you're gonna be putting your sewer hose for storing. So this is the outside. Now let's go to the back. I mean, they're both gonna have stereo antennas. I talked to you about the solar panel. This one had the 200 watt solar panel where the little guy Max has the 100. Little Guy Max has, of course, the backup camera already uh, wired and framed for it, although that could be added to this Tab 400. And they're more than just a backup camera these days. You can actually view that as you're driving down the road. And of course, the other thing it has, when you're looking on the back, you can see the, if you wanted to put a mother-in-law seat back here, a basket, bikes, additional bikes or whatever, you have that availability. And the one last thing that, uh, well actually a couple things that, that the Little Guy Max has that you do not see on the Tab 400 is of course you have this awning that has an uh, LED light strip and then you have the King Jack uh, regular antenna so that's for you to pick up local TV channels. So folks, I hope you found this to be uh, quite informative. 
For more information on either of these campers, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. I appreciate you watching, love the comments, and also if there's something in particular that you'd like to see me cover, please just shoot me a comment and I'll do the best I can. Uh, keep them coming and we'll be coming back at you again shortly. Take care.